So renewable energy sources, we're talking about sources of energy that uh, don't pollute in the same way as fossil fuels. And they are to be contrasted with fossil fuels and nuclear, which are geological sources of energy that are coming from the Earth's crust and are finite for that reason. The transition at the moment is accelerating because the cost of things has reduced radically, uh, especially in the last five to ten years. So um, solar and wind, for example, costs are much, much lower than they used to be. And this means that it's now economically there's an incentive for people to install renewable energy sources. Whereas in the past we had to subsidise, now it just makes sense from a cost point of view. In the longer term, we will also need them to substitute for the direct uses of fossil fuels, for example, in buildings, in transport, in industry. And again, we probably do that largely through electrifying the demand for energy so that we use things like heat pumps to replace gas boilers and we use um, electric vehicles to replace internal combustion engines. One of the technologies for energy storage is, of course, uh, batteries. And primarily at the moment, that means lithium-ion batteries, as we've got in our phones and laptops. But batteries are growing very rapidly because you can deploy them almost anywhere. They're kind of modular, the prices come down a lot. Um, and you can use them to do a, a very wide variety of different things on the power grid. Um, so we're seeing, for example, there's a pipeline of multiple gigawatts of batteries being installed in the UK right now at the moment. But we need a lot more. I mean, we probably need four times what we've got already. There's something in this space called the learning rate, which basically means how much the costs reduce as I build more of something. And the learning rate for, for solar and wind and batteries, for example, is really high. Um, and this makes them qualitatively different to traditional sources of energy, where if you build more, the cost doesn't really change. In fact, probably it might be more expensive to dig more stuff out of the ground. So something's qualitatively happening which is different and is accelerating in a way that people perhaps has taken some of us by surprise, uh, which I think is actually really exciting.